We're gonna keep moving on it. We're gonna get to it, get it done. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm not going anywhere, and I suck. Repeat. Welcome back to the vlog, guys. We are working on trying to get you guys content back up and put it back online so you guys can see what is going on at our shop. So you're involved, you're here, you're part of it. So I brought in a media guy, he's running the camera, he gave me the camera right now, so this is kind of scary, but I'm gonna work with it, so bear with me for a little bit. Behind me, we have a brand new aviator in that we're gonna do a black roof wrap, we're gonna give it some gloss finish, and then we're also gonna black out all the chrome around it, because there's a lot of chrome on this thing. Check this out, look at this thing. Susie's up here, she's busting, grinding, trying to get the clay bar done, get it all clean and prepped, but we're gonna black out all this roof up here, every little piece of it. We're gonna leave the roof rails, you know, silverish chrome though. And then we're gonna black out all the window trim around the windows, and we're gonna get the lower trim, and then we're gonna get this big massive grill in the front end, so we gotta black that out as well. Stay tuned as we slowly, slowly try to get you guys back content so you guys can watch and see what's going on at the shop and see what kind of cool things that we're doing. We're gonna try to give you guys some more uh, in the shop stuff. We're gonna try to give you some more, you know, how to's and like informational stuff. We're gonna try to educate you guys a little bit more. Try to train you guys through this camera. So stay tuned, keep watching and enjoy the rest of this vlog. Hi, I'm Susie. All right, we uh, are about to be uh, wrapping the grill. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so serious. Take 554. We have a Lincoln that we're gonna be wrapping the grill in gloss black, and I just wanted to show the steps on what we're doing before we actually put the vinyl on top. I have a clay rag and some, some just detailer. And what we do is we just quickly, very, very lightly and conservatively spray the detailer. And what we're doing is we're trying to decontaminate it and take off as much dirt as possible. And then I grab alcohol as my final, my final wipe down. I do not right at the moment. <clears throat> and what the pick does is it helps me get in the grooves in the grill where my finger wouldn't be really be able to get in there. And then now you're all set. My, uh, my next steps are for vinyl is I'm gonna be doing this in two pieces. The top piece is slightly like, it's a little bit more than just 90 degrees. It actually kind of goes in there. Um, so instead of doing this all in one piece, doing this portion right here in one piece and then doing a second one right over the top is gonna give you the best results and kind of make sure that it doesn't fail later on in life and won't peel up in those corners. Stay tuned and we'll walk you guys through the rest of the car. So we have, a customer wants to do the roof wrap on this vehicle, and in order to remove the antenna, we have to remove, or I guess loosen the headliner, uh, pop a couple of the panel pieces off so that we're not bending the headliner, and um, usually most of the time it's just a screw that holds it in, unplug it, and that's how we remove the antenna. 
All right, so Susie's been over there wrapping up the grill. I'm working on the roof as we speak. I've laid the whole thing down, everything's squeegee down. So all I have to do is just run around the edge, trim it, tuck it, and get it uh, looking nice and clean and ready to go with no excess. Oh, and there's this big piece of glass. I have to trim out and tuck that too, because we don't want a black window, you know? So we laid both of the pieces down. We have our bottom piece right over here and our top over there. And right over here, we have our seam line. And most of the time, you can't really see them. When we cut it off, we'll leave about maybe like a centimeter, maybe less overlapping, just so that it blends in pretty well. So when we're trimming pieces that are overlapping each other, you have to be really careful to make sure you are not cutting into the piece that's right underneath it. So when doing that, you have to be extremely, extremely light and you're practically just grazing the top piece and then taking it off. As I said, there's a piece of glass here. So what I have to do is I have to trim the film down, but not right at the edge because I want to be able to tuck the film down and get the whole edge wrapped over. So I've left about, eh, about a 16th or maybe more like an eighth to be able to wrap down and into the seal because these seals aren't like super tight, but the glass doesn't move. So it doesn't have to get wrapped five inches down below. So I just trimmed it a little bit. I've hit a little bit of heat. I've let it all shrink because I want it to be shrunk and back to its original state. I don't want it to be under tension and everything else. So we'll lay it down we'll tuck it underneath now. Who let the duck in here? <laughs> hey, at least there's someone with us. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Quack, 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 quack. What the fuck? Like, what kind of duck is that? No, one that's scared shitless for his life. You ever heard one that's running away trying to save his life? This is how you wrap a chrome piece. You grab a ball of vinyl, you grasp it firmly, and you throw it targeted area. So I'm gonna wrap the wing by myself uh, with nobody around. So a lot of things happens with gloss black, no matter if it's Avery or 3M, they have basically what we call crystals. Um, what, the, what happens is there's little particles on the back of the adhesive to make it easier so it can slide and reposition. If you try to do this whole thing all by yourself, with, uh, with gloss black, you usually get a bunch of those adhesive little crystal points. And it looks like dirt specks. It's really, really bad. It looks like garbage. So what we do is I take a little bit of wax uh, and I actually 
wax all the heavy hard point. So these edges really like to collect a bunch of, of those crystals, but then also since I'm stretching the film, this top side is gonna collect a bunch if I don't wax it too. So the only point I don't wanna put it in is right here in this recess or around the edges because I want that to actually stick. So sprayed on my rag and then I run my rag around and then I cover for the most part, pretty decent. I don't get crazy with the, the wax too much because I don't want it to be too waxy that I can't get the film to stick, but just enough. And then I flip the towel and I polish it back out. Now, this is nice and slippery and sl smooth and silk, uh, like, Slidability will be nice so it won't grab. The adhesive won't grab itself. Slidability. Slide slide slidability. All right guys, so this job is finished. We finished the roof wrap, we finished the blackout, we finished the chrome, the window trim, the lower door trim, the rear garnish, a little of everything. But I'm gonna walk around with the roof up there all dialed in. We got this window trim right here done. We got the lower trim down there done. We even got these little pieces right here, yeah. Uh, focus is sucking. What's that? But we got, we got the grill. But car is finished and I'm ready to get out of here. I gotta go deliver this car. I'm gonna take this car back to the customer. Uh, but thank you for watching. We really enjoy it. We appreciate and appreciate and appreciate all you guys' support and love and comments and everything else. So like, comment down below because I wanna see you guys' comments. I wanna see what you guys want us to post up. We haven't posted in a long time. So now it's time to give you guys something back a little bit more since we've been out of the game for a while. So. Give me some uh, feedback down below, but like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.